Hey everybody, I'm Spectacular, the Silver Stack. I'm here with my coin shop dealer in Spring Hill, Florida, the coin guy. How's it going? Doing great. Hello to everybody. Happy almost Easter. Uh, been another fun house kind of thing. Some gloomy day today in Spring Hill, but here we are again. There's a 90% chance of rain out, guy, but there's a 100% chance we'll have a good time in your shop. Always have a good time. Let's here. talk about coins and precious metals. Let's do it. You got it. Do, 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 do. Music's <laughs> going on behind me. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. I pulled out some articles I thought would be interesting. Okay. Some articles. Little of this, little of that. These are very interesting. I had Joe send me these. Are those real? Well, that's, that's the point. They're not. He said he's from New York, Staten Island. Name is Joe, no last names. And these are very dangerous. Dangerous because they're good looking? They look you, the flea market, those are dangerous. They're the wrong style for the 30s. The 30s are more like the quarters we have now. So these are too big, actually, to be 33, 34. The size, these are, this is part of the early bust, the sizes. They don't pass the machine, but they are really dangerous. They're not real. Guy, I'll be honest with you. Just for me picking these up real briefly, they feel light. Are they light for the, what they're supposed to be? Slightly. Yeah. But they're, they're very dangerous. Let me take a quick look. Why do people counterfeit our coinage, guy? Well, they're probably at a flea market and they're trying to sell them for 20 bucks a piece. And the person who has any working knowledge of coins is gonna know that these are $100 a piece. Wasn't there a saying that, what is it? Counterfeit is to, what is it? All right, we're talking about coin guy's weight here. Somebody just walked in. You're two, I'm, I'm 240 right now? Holy rolling thunder! No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out, man. What can I say? I gotta put some weight on. Uh, like we were talking about, um, yeah, these are not the real deal, but they sure look dangerous. They're really dangerous. It's funny, you could see a wave in the metal up in here on this one. Let me see, wave in the metal. Right across in here. Oh yeah, yep. That's not supposed to happen. No. Mm -hmm. It's like an error kind of thing. Or Now I had a guy in here the other day and here happens to be this article, which I didn't see at the time. And they brought me these new, uh, they brought me the new quarters in. And in person, they really are something to see. And look like the real deal. Like mm -hmm. what's missing on this quarter? The new quarter. Yep. The whole back is just like this, totally blank. This is the reverse. Is it? I don't know, I'm asking you. I kind of think it's the obverse. This is the obverse. I mean, it's missing everything, right? Well, I mean, that's the way it was made. He showed me the coin and goes, I've got this one that's missing it. I see them online selling for $100. So what I'm doing here is warning everybody that that's the way they're supposed to look. So beware of the people trying to sell you them for 100 bucks. That's kind of cool. I like how they made her shirt into like everything. High detail and then nothing in the feels. Mexican American, so it has all the different places. Okay. But it's a very, very plain, you know, a lot of field in the back with nothing on it. Well, we don't and that do isn't that. like I mean, we're missing, you know, United States of America or a date. Not supposed to be there. Just be warned that that's the way it is and don't, you know, beware of people trying to sell them to you for $95. It's a coin and not a metal. Mm -hmm. It's a coin. Because usually a metal would be more like this, mm -hmm. right? In fact, if we just take a trip over here real quick, I think you have a metal sitting right here, one of the newer ones, right? And that even has more information on it. Oh, certainly. That's a pretty, pretty coin. Yeah. With the horse. I happen to have three of them, by the way. Um, well, I think the yeah. gold one got coin of the year. Yeah, the gold one's really. That reminds me almost of my, my Remington between Wicked Pony and... Uh, coming through the ride. Americana. This is a newer one? I've had that about a year. Yeah. I told the wife the other day, let's bring it home. She didn't want it. She doesn't want that? I don't know. I, 
I kind of like that stuff. That's awesome. But I mean, it's great for the shop too. Well, that's what I don't mind. But then again, if I give it to her for her birthday, we can bring it home. Is that, uh -huh. <laughs> Is that how it's going to work? <laughs> yeah, like, maybe, and maybe I get to wear it. That's crazy. Then for my birthday, which is a couple of weeks later, she'll give it back to me. Wow. Is that the way it works at your house? I'm afraid it might. <laughs> so I saw that article. We have this. Okay, that's then good. I, I didn't, I've never seen those yet. Now, they are talking about doing a four coin gold, different denominations. And these are the ones. He's throwing stuff at me, guy. Come on. People are going to be like, oh, look at all the outtakes I got to have now. All right, here we go. These are the ones they're talking about. But they, try to remind me. Didn't they do these three already? Yeah, of course. Uh, what? But they want in, to do it in, in 2016, ounce, right? Ounce? Yeah. We did the. Uh, I just sold a couple of centennials. We did boom, boom, and boom. Now we're doing this one. That's the other one they're talking about. Oh, I and think so. the. Um, we got the flowing hair this year, right? At the end of the year. And they're looking, yes, and they're looking to do a four-piece, 1804 dollar bust dollar look. Okay. That might look pretty good. My only point is, like I've said before, get somebody to design it who isn't a political appointee. Make these in reverse proof. You got the 19, the 2013 W reverse proof Buffalo, Buffalo gold piece. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Yeah. These would look stunning in reverse proof. You're doing gold. This is already gold, but these in gold, we've seen them. When I saw the dime, I was disappointed. But if you do this in a reverse proof, I think they'll be wow. Absolutely. Especially if you're going to have a one ounce. I'm just going to really be confusing some people. But a one ounce, people are going to sell this as Silver Eagles. One ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, and one tenth. Yeah. They want to do five types. This is four, and the other one is the $1,804. Uh, I think that's a pretty good idea. Absolutely. But yeah, this, this gets the, uh, the old timers interested, right? I mean, mm -hmm. this is what we love in the hobby. Yep. This old stuff. I like that old stuff. Like I like that. stuff that you used. Now, here's a story about the wartime copper pennies. Man, you're just over there mutilating your magazines, and Steel guy. penny. I have a couple more, but I can't, I don't know where I put them. I keep Jeez. forgetting things. I remember being at a show in White Plains, oh, 25 years ago. I went with another dealer, took me up there, and a guy had just bought a steel penny, um, a 1944 steel penny. He called me over, hey, let me show you this. Uh, <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. He was a error deal. And he said he'd been negotiating and he paid X amount of money for this. And he thinks it's the real deal. At that time, there were, now 25 years ago, there were only seven or eight known. I think there's about 40 or 50 now, but there were only like seven or eight known. Three weeks later, front page of Coin World, 1944 steel penny discovered at the show that I was at the White Plains show. And then about three months later, $41,000 is sold for. Wow. Let's just say this guy made a home run. You doing advertising for Captain D now? Huh? A friend of mine bought, that, bought me lunch. Oh, yeah? Was that Jim? Uh, was that his name? I, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we met him when he came in. Yep. Yeah, nice guy. Very nice guy. Came down from um, Cooperstown. Wow. Just to see you? He, other I think he may have had other business in the area, too, but I was one of the stops. He was here a couple hours, and we talked a lot. I had lunch with him. We traded stories, and um, he bought me lunch. That's nice, guy. Just for what you do on the YouTube, huh? Yeah, I do what I love. Now, I was looking at something like this. Now, a lot of people talk about the Titanic. I don't have any coins from the Titanic. Not you don't? this time. No. Did you watch the movie? The movie? With sure. Leonardo DiCaprio? And, yeah. Yeah? He's an ugly looking kid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> do you know who was supposed to play the girl in that? Who? And she screwed it up. Who's that? Uh, when the girl played Wednesday Adams. Ricci? Uh, Ricci. Is that who it is? Back 20 something years ago. Yeah. Really? Wednesday yep. Adams chick? The girl, not the one now. I'm talking about the one in the original Wednesday, in the original Adams family. Okay. Ricci. Yeah, her name is Ricci. She, I think she was signed up 
she was she had a conflict and she didn't do it. What a mistake that yeah, Academy that's, that's Award mistake. was. She threw that away. That would have been a But then she would have had to show a booby off. You know what yeah, I mean? Well that was a famous booby right there. For some reason that was like a a, a rated PG booby too. Remember that? Something like that. Yeah. But, you know. Anyway. <laughs> um the Titanic twenty two hundred people. Okay. Fifteen hundred died. And I read this somewhere, it's not in this. That ship left only 60% full. There were hundreds of cabins that weren't full. Thank goodness. I read somewhere that the ship could hold another thousand people and they didn't sell out. Why is that? Do you know the price of a first class, first class cabin? And what the year was cost, this again? This is 1912. Okay. $4,350. Shoo wee. $4,350 in 1912. That's more than a cruise today. I mean, people were people were making what? Probably making, lucky they're making $100 a month. $4,300. Comparable to $70,000 now. So you were a huge deal if you were on this right here. You were all that. But yeah. they weren't all that because hundreds of cabins couldn't sell. Then there would have been 2,500 bodies floating in the North Atlantic, I guess. How crazy is that, huh? Yeah, how big and crazy that is. But I know I read that somewhere, and I thought that was very interesting, those two things. Now, there's coins that, like, NGC, I've seen uh, certified from they the Titanic. found on a body. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little ghoulish, but I can understand it. Yeah, I mean, it's part I mean, of history. I mean, it, that's what we true. do, right? We that's what we history. learn from. Yeah. We learn from that kind of stuff. Look at you, man, getting stuff for the viewers right there so they got some information. That's the game. That's awesome of you. What else I got over here? What else you oh, got? Let's come over here and do geography. Before before we get to the geography, I'm totally interested in it. But obviously, guy, you have a shop here in Spring Hill, Florida. If somebody sees something uh, that they like, they can give you a call right Absolutely. here at this number. Yep. I'll have the information also down in the description of the video. And just realize the guy moves this stuff in and out constantly. Yeah, a lot so of stuff comes and goes very quickly. You may see it in this video at this moment, but you might not have it, you know, in stock when they go to call. But give, him a, but give Guy a call anyways, right? And we're, last, we're down to the last dozen coin guy spectacular rounds also. There's only about a half a dozen left. Maybe we'll work on something new. Who knows? Who knows what time uh, we'll have for us? I bring you okay. mostly information. the Caribbean. There we go. For those who don't know what an atlas is, this is a book that has pictures in it of the world. They don't seem to teach that nowadays. So okay. I'm going to show that. I had this and it's time to sell it. This is a lot of the Caribbean silver. This is known as the Western Caribbean. Where? Or Caribbean, right here. St. Bart, St. Croix, a bunch of saints. This is the size, look at the size of Cuba, huh? Well, is it accurate to scale, I would you think? think it is. This is Florida, I think Cuba is the size of Florida. Nah, I think Cuba probably is a little smaller. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's, you know, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. To Bermuda? Here we have Bahama. Dominican Republic. I worked with a lot of men from Dominica. And Haiti. I worked with a couple from Man, Haiti. Haiti's in the news right now, guys. Yeah, there's a Ooh. if you read about Haiti, you know, there's still people in there. I wanna you know, I wonder if a boat got within eight hundred miles of Martha's Vineyard, whether it would be shot out of the water. I don't know. Um, Haiti has some of the bloodiest history in the Western Hemisphere. Dangerous people, dangerous place, very dangerous. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I don't see Oprah Winfrey or Obama's having a mansion there. Yeah. What can I tell you? Well, I've worked with people that were from Haiti, and they've told me how dangerous it was there. And oh, I worked with them too. They would just see people like getting laid out with baseball bats in the streets as part of their yeah. justice system. You know? Yeah, I, I talked to one, one guy. Uh, I said to me, going back to visit, he goes, why would, he had a few choice words. They leave, they do not go back. I wouldn't blame this them. This is, uh, they called it the Somalia of the Caribbean. I wouldn't blame I've them. I've heard it called that. I mean, Somalia is notorious for Africa. But anyway, this is, this is, this is the Caribbean. Okay. Now, you've heard the term, if you watch enough pirate movies and such, the Spanish Main. Okay. That's this. The northern end is Panama. This is the New Mexico, Panama, and all the other countries that try to get here. And uh, the Spanish Main is the northern coastline of South America, Venezuela and the others. Yeah, Colombia there. Colombia, Venezuela, and whoever. But this is, this is what's known as the Spanish Main. 
this is the areas where uh, all the pirate silver came out of, pirate gold came out of. Mm -hmm. Now you've got pirate silver, but no, not pirate silver. You've got pretty silver. Pretty silver. Not all of this is from there. A couple of them are from other places. But I've had these. I'm looking to move them. They have a lot of value in the silver port, but they make pretty coins. I mean, that's beautiful, they're, I think. They're ridiculous the birds, cheap right here. They're very yeah. low priced. I mean, this is 80, this is maybe $5, $7 over melt. Can I, can I grab a couple? Go ahead. I'm gonna take a little, little gander here. So this is, I got the dollar system here. Barbados? Yeah, that looks like a picture of me at the beach. Oh, Barbados? No, Neptune, who's that? Oh yeah, 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 same guy. Yeah, you, like got the, a mirror. you got the six pack. Yeah, that's good. It's like you're looking at yourself. Those are cool, man. They feel heavy too, don't they? Yeah, they got a lot of weight. Now, just I was looking at now. This is, as I said, this is these these countries here. This is like all Bahamas down in here. Once nice. again, birds, just pretty coins. His extras of some. I had all of this in our ammunition box and safe. Ooh, ship on a coin, guy. Fan favorites. Queen Lizzie. Those are pretty. Man, they feel so heavy. I mean, they make a nice gift, especially if you're from the islands or... Oh, they're beautiful. You know, you can buy a souvenir there or you can come home and buy it and put it in the album anyway at half the price. Anyway. Listen, guy, if I was a lady and I refuse to identify, I'm going to be a man. But if I was a lady, this would be like one of my big collections right here because they're beautiful. Pretty birds. Oh, they're pretty awesome. Coins. Yep. Even as a guy, I'm enjoying them. I go, you got extras here. Of course, there you we do. go. He's a whole bunch of proofs. You've always got extras being the coin. Proof guy. ones. Oh, the proof ones are fantastic. Yeah, if you want, you know, four hundred dollars worth, I got them here. Shoo wee. Um, they're awesome. Look at that bird. Right here. That's like a mix between like a pelican and like a, a dinosaur. Something like that. Yeah. It's crazy. This isn't gonna last. This is the Philippines. That's big. Now we just jumped away from another ocean to another ocean, but they're mixed up. Here's Trinidad and Tobago. Where at? Here we go. They, they look so cool, guys. They're beautiful. Absolutely yep. beautiful. Here's Belize. I mean, we can we can take a note on this stuff right here for our coinage here in America because these are these are fantastic. Yeah, these people they you know. I never, well, I guess they, they we'd use, we're doing the presidents and stuff, and I don't know. Sometimes I like seeing things other than the presidents on coins, which is oh, why, again. The, you know, the Canadians have the Wild Life series. They have some beautiful coins, and, you know, I, I like that kind of stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Well, that medal we just talked about, and again, that being the gold piece being the coin of the year, they didn't have mm -hmm. a single person on it, you know? It, it just exactly. had, it had those horses. It just it was absolutely beautiful. Now, here's Panama. Now, how would you like... Hey, buddy, you got change of 100? These are $20 pieces. Careful, I don't want to smash my finger. Actual silver weight, 3.85. So you're looking at things that are like... I don't know, what is that? About $90? $92 in silver in them. Big. I remember some years ago we did a video guy and you had some of these things. Mm -hmm. Years ago you got a hoard in. And that's probably all gone. These are new ones now. New ones. This is... I know people love these. Now, the United States made these. We made the coins in Panama. Panama. And the Philippines, too, right? Yep. Pretty pretty silver. And like I said, it's right, right down here, Western Caribbean. The Western Caribbean. You have, over here, you have the Caymans. I've been to the Cayman Islands. Off the coast of Havana. Where have you been in this little location right Not here? Not many. I've been, I've been to the Caymans. Okay. I've been to the, uh, I've been here in Mexico. Yeah. I've been over here. Cozumel, you went there? Yeah. Cancun? I've been to Cozumel, Cancun. I've been the, over here. That's how you're so tan. I've been there. Um, Susan wants to go through the Panama Canal. Have you ever been here? Yes, I've been to Florida. Key West? Key West. I've been to Key West. Okay. I have, I have people, fans of mine in Key West who send me. One guy sent me coffee, which I'm drinking right now. Very good coffee. Thank you. Feel free to send me more. Uh, <laughs> you ever been to Jamaica? No, I worked in Jamaica. Oh, okay. I worked with a lot of Jamaicans. Oh, okay. Felt like I was many See. a day. You know, it's it's an interesting thing if you have cultural experience. And I worked with a lot of people from the islands. 
you stand next to two Jamaicans talking. You can't pick up two words they're saying yeah. because they get into their, heavy you know, accent. their accents or their colloquialism of the Jamaican talk. And I mean, I'm talking, they, you can't understand what they're saying. I worked with them for 30 years. Wow. And uh, worked with many, many Jamaicans. I worked with a lot of people from all over the Caribbean, all over the, all over the world. I mean, I worked in a facility in my department where I was a minority. It was mostly African American, Caribbean American, Spanish. Uh, Sixty-five percent of them. Uh, but we all got along. There was no problem then. You had work to do. You had to get along. We had work to do. We were there all to work. I mean, seventies, eighties, nineties. We were there to work. Uh, but I learned a lot there, and as I said, I learned that the Haitians don't want to go back to Haiti. No. And, you know, wow, what does that have to say? I've been to Italy, and I would go back again. Well, a lot of these um, places, you know, they don't want to go back. Cubans, they're really not trying to go back to Cuba to, you know, live. Well, I get Cubans who call me and say, what are you people doing here? We left that. The Venezuelans told me the same thing. You know, we left that socialism to have our own way and to be our own people. The woman that I used to teach her, that I used to do the great American teaching, her, her husband, I believe her, her son, her son married a girl whose family owned a sausage, fa fam owned a sausage factory in Venezuela, mm -hmm. in, in one of the major cities. And now they're poor because mm -hmm. the government just took it all over. There's no I mean, you just lose everything. It's like, you That's know, crazy to me. it's just a crazy, crazy thing. But yeah. I thought these were interesting. These I mean, are crazy beautiful. What's the, what's the practicality of a coin that big? Just for fun, right? I thought that the two pence piece was big that Britain made in 1797. And then you can put it into a slab that's this big. You flip <laughs> this and say heads or tails, and if you get under it and it hits you in the head, it knocks you out. Yeah. Whacky. These are great. So what, people can just call, call you? Call and tell me what's available. You know, what are you interested in? Mm -hmm. Uh, put together enough that we can avoid having to pay taxes on it. Um, you guys should grab some of these. These are a really good price. You can like kind well, of they last. This is see what I a got. small part of the world for cheap, and they're beautiful. They're, they're about, not like all spotted up. These are great. There's probably 150 ounces here. Oh, look at the Toucan oh, Sam. Look at that. Yeah. Didn't let me see the Toucan Sam. Wow. What's that? That's, uh, That's that, a pretty one. That's Fruit Loops? Pretty. Fruit Loops, right? There's a couple of others here that I thought were interesting. I mean, they're all pretty cool. Uh, I feel like I'm a world traveler. A traveler yeah, right this one, Liberia. Bank of Uganda. Liberia. Ten shillings. Let me see the. Let me see what you got there. Here. Yep, Liberia. Oh, okay. And you got the elephants over there. Fantastic. Well, Liberia is on the coast of Africa. Well, there you go. You know the story about Liberia? No, tell me. Oh, I'm really in trouble now. Uh oh. When Lincoln died. Uh, Johnson became the president. Lyndon B. Johnson? Well, no, Andrew Johnson. Oh, different guy. And in 1867, <laughs> he let any slaves who were brought over from Africa, any slaves that wanted good civil wars over, anybody can go back to Africa, free of charge, to Liberia. 35,000 left. So there goes your reparations. You had a chance to leave. You had a chance? I can't tell you. Yeah, I guess. But that's a true story. Elephants are scary, yeah, It was an open, uh, an open thing to go back to Liberia. And, uh, and 35,000 people took it out of a couple of million, maybe 3 million, but only 35,000 decided to go back. Well, I guess it's like the Haitians who work here, and do you go back to Haiti? No. God bless America. Greatest country in the world. And that's mm -hmm. the story of what built Liberia. Um, here's the Philippines. Uh, conquistadors. Remember, cool stuff, yeah. Columbus was only the navigator. He didn't own the ships. That was Spain. The rape and pillage of the Spanish main, Mexico, South America. That was all on Spain. Don't blame Columbus. I want my parade back. Anyway. Um, Very cool. People probably call you over this stuff right here. Yeah. Or they yell at me, one or the other. Yeah. They'll say that you were wrong on some little minor detail That's or whatever, okay. right? I got big shoulders. Well, I used to have bigger shoulders. But I'm <laughs> willing to hear what they got to say. Yeah. History is just to be learned from. Now, I know we got a lot of people. The snowbirds are getting ready to leave. 
Uh, no offense to the snowbirds, but I hope so, man. Well, I don't mind the snowbirds. I do. Traffic's been nuts over here. I can't tell you. know, it. the funny thing is, like I've said before, when the snowbirds are here, when the snowbirds were here five, seven years ago, and you went up to 50 where all the big restaurants are in the steakhouses, you're waiting outside now in 15 minutes. Not anymore. People can't afford to eat. Yeah. They, you know, they go out once a month where they used to go out once a week. They just can't afford to go out. But for those who will be going back, and if you're going to go to England or if you're going back to Canada, I have a whole lot of Canadian money. If you want to make, you know, uh, nationalize it, come in and buy it. I have a box of 25 rolls of nickels. I have more nickels here. I have dimes. I have quarters. Now, what's their deal? Did they they stopped with the pennies over there, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they don't make the, these. Are, they don't make them, but yeah, will but they I still take them? Yeah, but I ain't selling those for penny. Ah! Oh! That's a good question, right? Canadians, where you at? Tell us. They, I was in Canada about five years ago before COVID hit, and um, they just don't use pennies. They round up, round down, so you don't know. You know, they'll tell you it's a dollar sixty-five. Not well, if a I want to go in there with a dollar sixty-five in pennies, will they take them? I don't know. That's a question. Some people, it's almost like here. I brought my one and my one and two dollar, my loonies and my toonies, and I brought my paper ones and twos, and it's like they never saw. The one and two dollar bills. Then this is five years ago. Freaking people. I guess out. it's like people <laughs> who get a two dollar bill now and are surprised to see it. Um, you can go right to the bank and know, get all you want. But you know, I know that they just passed legislation last year where the people don't have to take the ones and twos. They don't have to take the ones and twos. They don't have to take the five hundreds or the one thousands. And Canada made a $25 note. I've never seen one. But if you have one, I will be glad to give you 75 cents on the dollar for it. <laughs> because I think it's like a 1000 but it's very expensive. Yeah. So I'm willing to, you can redeem them here. Feel free. <laughs> um, but I have all this Canadian money. If you want to redeem, if you're going back, this I've been to Canada a couple of times. This $10 is going to buy you $10 worth of stuff in Canada. Mm -hmm. $7.50 here. Oh, wow. To lay rid of it. I'm selling it at the exchange rate. The, the dimes, the quarters, the halves, the loonies, the toonies. Now, do we have Canadian viewers, guy? I don't even know. I am sure we do because we do? they live in my development. Are they legally allowed to watch us over there? I, would, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would kind of think so. Oh, I got all this, yeah. You never know. Look at that. Pretty. It's it's cool seeing something different, I guess. Oh yeah, fan yourself off with it. Oh, the Canadian money. Wow. Then I got other monies. And here's something for those of you. Here's England. These guys. Here's England. Here's the Queen Mom. Look, Queen Mom. Mm -hmm. Last printing with her. Fifty dollar, fifty pound notes. Thousand pounds. They don't seem like they weigh that much. Twelve hundred eighty dollars American. Yours for twelve hundred. Good so deal, if you go to England on vacation, come see Coin Guy. I'm not mailing these. Come in and buy them from me. You save eighty bucks. Is it a problem to mail those? Like, is it like a legal thing? I don't want to take the chance. I think it. I think enough people go vacationing down here, just like they go to Canada. These are brand new, crisp, and most of this is in uh, numerical order. I mean, they're consecutive order ones. I've seen them selling online for, like. Two for one hundred and seventy dollars. Uh -huh. So do you have premiums? I don't want to bother. I want, I want twelve hundred bucks, and you get a thousand, thousand, thousand pounds. Here's Australia. I got all kinds. Of, I got all kinds of countries here. They start calling you the foreign money guy. This I showed before. I think Tara showed me one of these sold at auction for over three hundred dollars. This is the original from the Columbian Expo. That's got a. Probably a premium right there, guy. Yeah. Well, Just it, that it's leather. the pouch, but that's the coin that was in it. And I think it sold for like $300. I'm willing to entertain it. I think it's cool. It's historic. Um, I have it? plenty of Columbian Expos, but... You want to sell it to me? That's original. What do you want to pay me? I don't know. I know the price is right here in the leather. Yeah. That stuff goes for that's, ridiculous I've never money. seen. I have never seen another one. That's the truth. I've never seen... I mean, how many people have actually saved it? And it's, what, 130 years ago? I'm afraid to just keep opening because it's just like, it feels fragile, but, man, what a it's cool piece. It's not as fragile as some. I have had, I've had the Civil War photograph ones. Those will fall apart in your hand. That's so now, cool. Now, this guy. is in pretty good shape. 
we can talk about that. I mean, this is the this is the way they would. This is a real deal. This is a real deal. I'll tell you what. I'll give the people that are watching a chance. If that doesn't sell by the next time I come into your store, I'm buying it. This is made in China. No. Uh, be, huh? <laughs> all that stuff from all those different half dollar, like you know, the classic commemorative half dollars. Anything where they sold with the half dollars, it sells for a huge premium. Yeah. Every single time. Yep. Now this is the real deal. I think it's you know. Americana is what it is. Every single time. You probably got to go to a major. Piece. You got to go to a major show to find this in one of the displays. I'm sorry, where'd you find that? It came. I. It didn't come in this big collection. Something else. I don't remember where I picked it up. Um, bottom of a box. I don't. I don't remember because I think I've had. I showed it once before, and I got no response. Um, I don't. I don't recall. Uh, but I wanted what I wanted to show was this stuff to people. Yeah. Go over the story of the Caribbean and the Spanish Main, and talk about those articles. You did. And um, did and it. we still have a lot of commems left if people are looking for that, especially military commems. Here's all that's left. Look at this. We, we had 62 Carson cities. Okay. Okay. The top ones aren't. Can we bring them out? Just because it helps with the glare. People are going to want to see these old coins. Let me take apart my my foolproof alarm system. Okay. Press the, the secret code. Disable the left. laser beams. We had about 30 GSAs. Shoo wee. This was left. Why are these the ones that's left, I wonder? I don't know. These are not going to be left too much longer. That's what's left. I love how they just they just strap it right across. Now these ain't, these are not these are part of that set. This would be part of the CCs, but you had sixty two and you got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, That's thirteen, a nice fourteen. Coin right there, guy. We got seventeen left. That's a nice coin. Seventeen from sixty two. I think guy price is too cheap. Oh, he made a mistake, but now he's got to pay up. Take advantage of me. <laughs> uh, and then one without the strap. It's what I've said before. A lot of people don't collect Carson cities. What? A lot of people. I mean, they a don't? lot of people don't collect Morgan dollars. Oh, okay. But they collect Carson cities. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for sure. they uh, Carson cities are very popular. Um, I Guaranteed mean, to sell. And one guy called me. Took nine of them. You know, th like three each of the eighty-two, eighty-three, and eighty-fours. You know. Maybe he's got three grandkids. He wants everybody to get one. I, I'd imagine, guy, that when you're looking through like somebody's collection or whatever, and you see the CCs on the back of a coin, like time just freezes for a moment. Yeah, that's when I smile. <laughs> I smile for them too, because half the time they don't know what they have. Yeah, and you're like gonna give them some good news. You ain't kidding. Yeah. You're not gonna be eating a Burger King. You're going to Red Lobster now. Going to the Lobster. Well, maybe it depends how many people are with you. All you can eat Cheddar Bay biscuits, huh? Right. Wow. This was a nice tray right here too, guy. We gotta, we gotta pop some trays here. This is what's left. I filled in a lot of it is gone. Somebody's. This is a the old, the old Benyon. Not in the uh, usual holders, but some of these are pretty cool. What's what's uh? Where's the blazer? Uh, let me see this. That looks great. Eighty six O, very expensive coin in high grades. People are gonna trash talk it because it's in the annex holder, but that's a beautiful coin. Still a beautiful coin. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with annex. That's the first coin grading company, right? Yep. That goes back to these. Where are they? A lot of these people that got their their names over here at PCGS and NGC, the you know old timers. Guess where they had to start? They had to start at the original coin grading company. There we go. I know there's old beautiful timers out there too. like me. Who remember something like this? This is the old photo grade. Oh yeah, we showed this off. Yeah, photo grade twenty two no D. Are these pretty collectible? Yes, you could sell these by themselves. And then what you would do is they would just have it in a flip, and it would be stapled to this. But this was the old photo grade, the precursor before you had to certify. So if you're at a garage sale and you see something like this, just don't think it's junk. Make sure you're In some this. cases, you know, like you take a coin like this, uh, 32D, it's registered, doesn't say the value, but you know, this is 1978. 1978, huh? 
Yeah, that, this this is like I said. These are the. I love what it says here too. 83. Let's see. 1932 D quarter. In our opinion, 86. this is a genuine original coin as described. See, this is just when the, we're coming out in 86. This is when the hard plastic was coming out. I think we need to go back to something like this a little bit along with the slab and kind of give like a rundown of where this coin had been. Like, okay, coin guy had it, you know, sold it to me, you know, and that way it kind of keeps the history of where that coin has traveled. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. That'd be neat. Yeah. That'd I mean, so like awesome. I said, I know I had these um i think i don't i think these were part of collections i don't believe there were coins attached to these i've had these for years it's more of uh you know we're coin collectors we collect everything we don't throw uh, nothing out that's what my wife tells me <laughs> you should see don't my throw nothing out. you should see my office sometime probably it looks just like yours all kinds of crazy this is it <laughs> 2400 <laughs> square feet of this is my this is like susan says this is my man cave i see you got some peace dollars guy Hey, you were telling me. I'm I had these fan. before. I don't remember seeing these. Here's a green bean. I definitely would have remembered these couple coins right here. Like, for instance, this 21 high relief. The Tony's a little dark on this one right here. But a 61. You don't get a 61 too often around. See, here's a VAM 5. I'm not sure what that means. What, I don't get into that. What the VAM is? Yeah, I've just, well, I've, I know what it is, but... You get a book somewhere, don't you? Is it a big deal? It's a book like this thick. Okay. Yeah, it's like a phone book. <laughs> For those who don't know what a phone book is, <laughs> I mean that's everybody <laughs> that's now, where right? The phones used to be, the numbers used to be in them books. How miserable was that when you think back to now to looking through a phone book trying to find a number? Well, there, you didn't know anything better. Uh, <laughs> that's what you had. <laughs> yeah, I remember my uncle was big, strong guy, Frank. I remember watching him rip a phone book in half one time oh, when wow. I was a kid. Strong man. Yeah, he was a garbage worker. He was he was pretty pretty strong. Yeah. Try that for anybody watching with just a pack of sticky notes. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> it's tough. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Try and rip a cassette in half now. <laughs> Try and rip that phone in half because that's where all the numbers were. That's funny. It's a beautiful coin. 28S. I mean, it's not the Philadelphia. 28S but... is a very expensive coin in high grades. That coin gets stupid. When it gets in high grades, it doesn't take far before it passes to 28, God, you said, which is the key you're date. You're going to offend the coin. You just call it a stupid, man. I mean that no. <laughs> the coin gets stupid prices. Come on, man. Don't get upset. Yeah. Alright. 28S. 28S. Yeah, we're looking as it runs parallel. Somewhere it's gonna pass. There we go. 28S when it gets to a 64. Okay. Blows away to 28 plane. Doubles the price. Let me see. Here, let me try to zoom right it. Here. Which one is the, okay. The bigger number, 1100 is the S. That's when it starts to overtake it. Yep. Okay. And then don't look back. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. And wow, then the numbers are going to. a $10,000 jump, guy. That's what, in a, in a six? Look at over here. Holy smokes, Amos. I told you, it gets incredible. Number stops Crazy. there. Crazy. 46,000. That's a new vehicle. Three times the size. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. How nuts. I mean, some of these things will absolutely take off. That's like when I talk about the, uh, what is it, the 94, the 92S. Goodness gracious, the great 92S balls of is fire. another crazy coin that That's when it gets, uh, uh, where's my 92S? Oh, Here we go. And I got two or three raw ones over there. You know, $2,000. In a 40. You got everything, man. You got in a 50. Got the stuff slab. In a 60, it's 48,000. 48,000. That's nuts, man. So if you got a 92S and you take it to the pawn shop, make sure you check the back. Yeah. You know. You think this ever happened, guy? Yeah. That's sad yeah. to think about, you know? I'm, I'm you know sure it happened. has. Yeah. I'm sure it has. And then half the time the pawn shop doesn't know what it is. Uh, I had a kid come in here eight, 10 years ago, and he brought me an 1815 bust half dollar. 1815, for those who don't know, is the key to the bust half dollars. Um, there were only 37,000 made or something like that. And I looked at the coin. I, offered, I think I gave the kid 900 for it. 900. He stood there stunned. 
He said, the guy in the pawn shop put it on the scale offered me $20. 900 My goodness. I sold it for, I don't know, 13 But I got it certified first, and I'm the deal. I got to make a few bucks. But wow. Yeah. You know, there are dates you need to know. Uh, what happened was there was a fire in 1815 at the Mint, and there were no, uh, no large pennies made in 1815. Uh, and... They didn't make the half dollar. They started to make the halves, and then you had to fire. And that's why production got stopped. The more you know. The things you know when you're the coin guy, huh? You read a lot. Passing 1815 knowledge. was the year Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein. Did you know that? <laughs> Do you know who Mary Shelley I, I, is? I believe you told us before. Yeah. She was a friend <laughs> of mine. Anyway. Was she? Yeah. <laughs> she was at a retreat in July in England because Mount Tambora exploded big volcano, a lot of ash, and, and that was a year without a summer in the world. I guess they call it global warming. Well, there it was global freezing. Huh. Uh, no summer. It snowed in England. Crops just died all over the world. And they were on a, a summer vacation. Lord Byron was a friend of her and her husband's. And it was, you know, dreary, cold July. And they had a contest to write science fiction. She wrote Frankenstein. Got published in 1817. The Amazing. rest is history. Wow. Yeah. You know, guy. How many books she ever read, wrote? How many books she wrote? That's the only one she ever wrote. Oh, just one? Yeah. Oh. Did a good job of that like one. She was like 19 at the time. She had an interesting mind, huh? Apparently. Honey, what do you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a fire going. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, guy, the... One of the, the gentlemen that came in earlier, Jim, um, who I guess took you to, to lunch without me. That's cool, took Jim. Took lunch here. No big deal, Jim. He Next said, time. Is, he said to me, is, is, uh, is he coming in today? Is Spectacular coming in? I said, who? <laughs> yeah, who's that guy? <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> but, you know, he said something really interesting. He says, you know, when you watch these videos on YouTube, you know, and you start to get a feel for Guy and his daughter and Nate, you start to, like, build a connection. You know, and that, that's, that's something so interesting, right? Kind of, well, people... From miles people, away, they can build this connection. And I appreciate that. People come in, they say they watch... I get wives or so tell me their husbands listen to me four times a day. That's okay. You know, it's, it's better than listening to the news half the time, which will drive you crazy. Um, but no, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. And that's part of the connection and trying to teach and, and learn. I'm looking forward to the... What's it? Six months? Maybe seven months. The Great American teaching. Yeah. I have a client who's been selling me gold, and she works in a school, and she has talked to people in Hernando County and says that she's got the green light to get me in. Bada bang. So maybe I I can move from Pasco and do both of them, just as long as they're not the same day. Don't kill yourself, guy. Take it I'll easy. Do what I can do. Yeah. But uh, You seem like you're very energetic today. No. You've been eating your sugar or something like that? What, what's going on here? What I have? I had, I had fish. I had my uh, fish fish for lunch. Oh, it must be those omega threes. It was good. It was good fish. With the omega threes, omega sixes, just pumping you up. Well, that's cool. Though. I thought that was neat that he said he built a connection, and that's that's great. That's that's the idea, and hopefully that. He's keeps interesting. On going. He's up in Cooperstown, and he he had some interesting stories to say and and tell us. He actually had some coins that he showed me. I'm sure he showed you too. Yeah, he showed beautiful. me beautiful. A, what was that? MS-68 uh, Morgan 81S? Dollar. 81S? Beautiful. I think an 81S and an 8. Holy cow. Yeah. I had no idea. I mean, the book only shows a 7. That You know, that becomes an auction piece. And I do not have that clientele in here for that. Uh, but it was it was really something to see. And it was good talking to him. Yeah. It was good talking to him. That's cool. Anything what else, else is new with you? With, uh, with me, nothing. With me, I just work, work, work. Just working to death. The American dream, I think, is just working, 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 working. Maybe maybe Bernie Sanders is right. Maybe we should go to a three-day work week, huh? Get some more of these, <laughs> by the way, in case... Well, Bernie is funny. That's <laughs> that's why the Americans are who they are, is because we work six days a week. You know, I said a long time ago, the, the Europeans, you know, you, you look back and why do we have this and why do we have that? The Europeans have two people for every job. You know, it's... When they, go on, when they go on holiday, it's five weeks, seven weeks. That's a more, almost an extension of those, the birds. I'm going on a vacation for seven Four weeks. Bucks. 
And didn't I'm you get bored after Didn't while. you get a gift from somebody? Yes, I did get a gift. You're Don't right. forget them. All right, let me, let me give a shout out real quick. Let me read the whole thing. Uh, I guess you got something too. It was a very nice gift. Yes. Uh, Dear Spectacular, I would like to send you a gift to thank you for all of your videos. Although it was not much, I thought you would be like to add silver to your stack. Now, first of all, it's a lot, uh, Ava and Mara. Very, very appreciative. 13 years old, 12 years old, hooking me up with this really, really cool standing Liberty quarter. I think it's awesome. 1916. One of my favorite wow. coins of all time. <laughs> yeah, right? I'd have to give it back to him and be like, I can't accept that. Uh, but no, very thankful. I that's, could. That's no. awesome. <laughs> you would take it? <laughs> I got no humility. No. Yeah, I want to send them a little gift. I think that's really cool. So thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. That's awesome. Good. And you got some, like, what, paper money from them or something? I got some paper money, yeah. and I sent them a uh, T-shirt. Wow, look at you. Yep. Fancy. I got some T-shirts. You got some T-shirts. You, you touch me, I send you a T-shirt. Not what? that I'm touched. But. Jeez, man. All right, what's, uh, what's going on in this, uh, this case here? This came back from Great Collections. I saw that little nickel. We sold the one that was Generation 2. We did well on that. This one is a very early one, but not as early as that. I still think it's, it was, it was much more at the auction. I brought it down to be sold. It's, there are people who collect those, the green lights. It's an early generation. Some of these ran for three months, six months until they hit on. Even now they're changing the styles of them as they go along. It's pretty Tony on that nickel. You don't see that very often on nickels. Yeah, that's, that's a 67 if I recall. And I, yeah. and I think that's full steps. And that's before they used to put full steps on there. We're going to see if we can see the full steps. We're going to try to take a look, sees with this amazing technology here. I don't know, it's hard to see. I don't see full steps. You see them? I think there's a lot of steps there. I don't see I don't see any steps. Maybe it's my zoom. Oh, no, no. There's steps. There's right, you, definitely steps. You look. You look with the, uh, the special technology you Oh, got. no. There's, there's nice, clean steps. I just can't see it with my zoom. My zoom blurs mm -hmm. it out, I guess. That's Apple for you. Apple can't figure it out. I'm looking at five steps. I heard Apple's getting sued by the government. Yeah, well, you heard about that? They must have went after one of the Bidens. I don't know. Eh, I Go after Biden, it's like death. Now I see steps. If without the big zoom. There we go. Now I got the right lighting guy. Now something to like that they were suing because like Apple was blocking technology from Android and all the companies were doing it, stopping people from just being able to get what they want on any system. So There's apparently two more coins I got doesn't enable point. a free market. This one I got the box for. This is interesting. This is the, what is this? The 1100th anniversary of Iceland. 1100? Nice place to go in the summertime. So what, Iceland is green and Greenland is ice? Is that how it works? Pretty much. That's gold? Yeah, yeah. That's got an interesting color to it. Oh yeah. Well, it's not, it's... Forget what the percentage was. It's like forty-five percent. I was still over a thousand bucks. There's a lot of there's enough gold there, and this was a beauty. What's that dude holding? Just some big old totems. He's got a really strong chin, very squared. Pretty cool. This has got incredible fields. This just has incredible fields. Let me see these fields that you speak so highly of. Overall, that's a really great coin, isn't it? That is came that in a holder. That came in a certified holder. I didn't agree with the grade. I broke it out. Um, I just think that that coin is breathtaking. Full headband, beautiful. You know, like I said, coin grading is subjective. Uh, look at those fields. It looks like a four. That's fantastic. Um, this is a beautiful coin. These these barber half dollars. That was a long run, right, for coinage? Yeah. 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 I just got, as a matter of fact, now you just reminded me. Oh. I haven't had a chance to go through it all. You can pay me later. And for crying out loud, I think that Captain D owes us some money, too, for all this <laughs> advertising we're giving them. <laughs> oh, he's going down into the depths oh. of the safe. That's where the back gets hurt, guy. Careful. It's not what it used this to be. It. Okay. I bring here. you the Barber Collection. <gasps> made me gasp. Are these all quarters? Yes, they are. It's missing the three key dates. The 96S, the 13S, and the 01S. I've only owned one 01S. What would that cost to fill those in like a, I don't know, 
about the same grade we're looking at here. Those, well, the O1S is four thousand um, dollars. The other two are like eight and eleven, respectively. So those three coins are six thousand. The rest of the set gives a price. What, what is the price? Like? Seventeen. Dude, I kind of want this guy. That's a great start. And it's got some nice ones you can always build from there. I I think the book is worth fifty dollars empty. Um, you know, when it comes to dance goes, it's always. Here's another book I just picked up. That's a great. And this had some coins in it. That's a great piece. You know, it's like I said, the, the wife wants me to retire. What are you retiring from? This is your fun. I love what I do. Yeah. It's just, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't golf. I don't fish. You want to golf sometime? Here's another book you never see. Well, thank you. But this came with 20 coins in it. Seated halves. Seated Liberty half dollars. This, this try is just and the find book. this book. This is empty now. Yeah, it's empty now, but it had about 20 coins. Now I got a nice, guess what? I got a nice tray full of seated halves. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this a is lot of low grade book. stuff, but. What does this book go for? Full? I mean, no, empty, you're saying. And, yeah, I'm asking 59. For a dance go. For a very specialized, yeah. hard, to, I tried to put this set together back in the early 80s, uh, the seated halves, and I was trying to put together the bust halves at the same time. I was crazy. Either one could exhaust you, but no matter, and I had limited funds, but this has varieties, just, just, and when you get to the end of this, and this didn't have any of the ones in the end, once you get past here. Forget about it? Forget it, right here. All of these, all of ones in the 80s, mintages of 4,000, 6,000, 10,000. Oh, buddy. I mean, they, they were none made. I think the 84 has a mintage of 4,400. 4,400! That's yeah. all it was made. Crazy. You went in there with, you know, $2,200. You bought the whole run. And then what survived? And how many survived? Yeah. You know, if 10% survived, is, you know, for, say there's 500 left. 500. I mean, this went through a time when money was really used, really worn out. All right, guy, I'm going to get really personal right now. What is your favorite set that you've finished? It was always the Walkers. You finished the Walkers? A number of times. A number of when times. When I was younger, a low grade Man. set. And then later I put a set together that was v mostly XF to, to AU. I didn't want to put unks in there because it blows away the rest. But I did XF. I just could not find an XF at that time in a 21S and I think a 19D. 19D is very expensive. 21S, 21S an extra fine is like $3,000. Yeah. It's just, it was, and I'm talking 30 years ago I put that set together. I mean, um, it was just, but I'm a collector. Now I just collect all kinds of stuff. I love the 16 and 17 with that obverse mint mark on them. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty to me. So pretty. I wish they had never stopped that for that, that series. Well, like I said, who knows what, I don't know, what politics were involved. But You got a little gold right now. Gold's been coming up. I mean, record highs. Hit 22, 2202. Coin guy told you. I didn't think it was going to hit 22 before Easter, but I said 23 by summer. Something stupid's happens. We may see more than that. Have people been um, dropping it off or been picking it up? I am not a bullion dealer, but I get bullion. I have, I have a few ounces of gold. If you have 30 ounces to sell, don't come to me. I'm sorry, I just ain't buying it. Uh, I slow down a lot. I don't have buyers. Um, go see my son up in St. Augustine or somebody else. Uh, <coughs> I'd rather not invest 100000 in gold to make $1,000. It's too dangerous. Uh, there are people selling, yes, every day. Yeah. People, you know, we've talked about this. They just can't make ends meet. Um, every time you go shopping, it just amazes me how much, uh, how much things cost. Um, you know, I've been, I've been cheating on you guys. I've been going to other shops, too, once in a while. But they have that same story that yeah, well, people the, are struggling. I had a guy in here who owns a pawn shop. He said he put out 35000 one weekend in the street. 35000 Man. I mean, Jesus, be, well, I had a guy who sold me 3000 in stuff Tuesday. He got his, his home insurance doubled. Mm-hmm. 
my bug man was in today. His insurance went from like 19 to 43. Yeah, it's hard to deal with. Holy cow. Yep. And what happens? He starts charging more for bugs. That's what has to happen. Well, you know, it's just like they said. Well, you know, we're going to move minimum wage now in Florida is 12. Five years ago it was eight. Now it's 12. Yeah, but everything went up 50%. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you all what back you to say? Yeah, you've, you've done, done nothing. nothing. It's the same cycle. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's frustrating, guy. Frustrating. And us just screaming up into the air doing nothing. We can't do nothing about it. Anyway, have a great <laughs> Easter. Uh, God bless America. And it's springtime now, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Yeah. Officially. Have a great Easter. All God right. bless America and good luck to all of you. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah.